So the number one reason why I have to take patients out of contact lenses is a million dollar word called giant papillary conjunctivitis. So giant papillary conjunctivitis um, sounds like an STD, uh, especially if you call it by its shortened name GPC, but it's definitely not. GPC is actually um, kind of like an allergic reaction that your eyes have to a contact lens. It can just be an allergic reaction, it can just be your eyes sort of reaction to a contact lens, and it can also be because you're wearing them way too long, way too often, or even sleeping in the lenses. So there are some different reasons why GPC can happen. So GPC, what it is, is it's this inflammation that happens up under your eyelid. So when I'm doing an exam, really the only reason, the only way I can see if it's happening is to actually flip your eyelid over. So I use a little Q-tip and flip it over. What I'm looking for, GPC looks like little bumps. If you've ever been skiing, it looks like that mogul hill where you have all those little bumps. And that's kind of what the underside of the eyelid looks like when you have this reaction happening. So you might be wondering, what does it feel like? If you have GPC, it can feel a couple of different ways. You can feel like your eyes are just itchy all the time. Like you have to rub them, they just don't feel right. You can feel dryness of your eyes, like the contacts just dry out really fast or um, sometimes the contacts will even get kind of cloudy uh, halfway through the day. You can also feel like your lenses are just moving around a lot on your eyes. Basically, if any of my patients say that their contacts just don't feel right, I flip their eyelids over and check for this sign. Um, what is happening when you get GPC is that contact lenses are made out of silicone hydrogel, most of them. And every company has a different way of treating the lens so that it can live in your eye. At the end of a day, at the end of the day, a contact lens has to live in your eye. It has to live in your tear film, interact with your eyelids all day, and do so without causing any problems. And what happens in the case of GPC is that that lens actually can break down and now your eyelid is interacting with you know, a lot of friction over the contact lens surface. If you can imagine that backside of your lid doesn't do well with that and you start to get these bumps, this inflammation, this allergic reaction that happens underneath. So the problem with GPC, the reason it's so difficult is that I can never get rid of it 100%. Okay, maybe if you had very, very minor GPC, I could treat it and get rid of it. But typically, um, all I can do is calm it down and it can always be aggravated. So even if I make it better, if you overwear those lenses again, or I put you in a lens that's still gonna cause that friction, it can come back. So like I said, that's why it's the number one reason I have to take patients out of contacts. Now, one really great solution though is daily contact lenses. The beauty of dailies is that it's a fresh lens every single day. So a daily comes out of the package into your eye and there's no rewear happening. And because of that, those, the lens itself holds up a lot better, which means the lid can interact with it better and there's less of a problem with a reaction under the lid. Kind of a long story to tell you about GPC, but it truly is one of these things with contact lens wear that can take you out of wearing lenses completely. It's a good reason to always clean your lenses, always take them out and wear them as your doctor has instructed you to, um, because there are very real side effects that can happen and can even make it so you can't wear contacts anymore. If you like this patient's story, make sure to like us, subscribe to our channel, and tune in every Wednesday at 4 o'clock.